Hey guys, welcome back to my channel again. Uh, today, I just made. A I'm going to make a video about the another game made by Lilith, The Rise of Civilization, and. As you know, the Lilith company made some cool games, cool strategic games like AOC, this, The Rise of Civilization. And I have been playing this game from la, like 60 days. Yeah. And, you know, all the strategic games, you have to give more time and more time and this is the most time taking game, game I have ever played as a strategic game. So stay tuned. I think I'm gonna make some videos about it also. And so that's it. So here it is. Um castle level. Just talk about the gameplay first. So just talk about the gameplay first and uh, because this has been launched all over the world three uh, three to four days ago as far i remember but uh, as i live in india so the game was released here first and they just released the game all over the world a few days ago so here it is, um, own kingdom, the 13, kingdom of Castalia, as you can see, and this game is all about making alliance, making uh, good power, good strategy, making policy to defend yourself, to defend uh, your alliance. If you are alliance leader, you must have pressure. So, and I'm just lucky, guys, because I have my friends. Just we just live a few km away. So, first thing first. After uh, this game, in this game, there is lots of races like Britain, Spain. Rome and uh, every race, every civilization have an epic commander and you can choose whatever in the first game if you when you start the gameplay you can just uh, choose the game race the civilization and you will get to unlock the commander for that particular civilization and after that you will have to update the town hall and this is the guys uh, city hall and this is the castle so city hall is most important thing uh, let me show you the there is four ages first the stone age then the bronze age stone age will last from one to three after that bronzes will come and as you increase your age you cross the edges your troops capacity will increase your troops dispatch queue increase and your power will also go and after at level 10 city hall you can unlock the iron age and till then you can dispatch two troops at a time and after iron age when you reach the level 11 you can dispatch three and as i have to cross the dark age so i can dispatch four troops and the last age will be feudal age where you can which will be unlocked after city hall level 21 and at 22 you can dispatch the five troops at a time and that is the maximum troops dispatched number 
and here is the most valuable thing is the gems guys so this is the gems you have to gather more and more and there you also can research the your troops your gathering power like this is the level one gather stone this will uh, the f uh, first thing after opening the game you can only unlock the food and the wood gathering but when you increase your city hall level you can research to unlock the stone and gold and at a certain level you can also unlock the research to get the gems and this is good because you can at least gather some kind of gems you don't have to purchase sometimes but obviously there is something that you can purchase like gems and there is a legendary commander which i have also and i will talk about the uh, commander later let's talk about how to play the game so when i was just build my city hall up to three i met our alliance leader and here is the alliance let me show you guys this is the alliance i am in e plus w just evil plus wolf and x mirror is the leader and ego boy and me the health prince obviously we three are the co-founder of this alliance and all of the rank eight of four officers you are seeing guys they are they just joined our alliance after we created the first alliance after three or four days so they are from the beginning you can say it also and uh, the most thing is like you uh, you don't have to build a city or you don't have to get something else you just have to build your own territory because the match map is huge as you can see here let me scroll it down can you, uh, so you can see i have scouted lots of areas and this is guys huge and those red mark they are the orbits and those this is this is just like the level one or two passes yeah so this is this is the pass level two pass there are barbarian and this will uh, take lots of your time to all things clear so let's talk about how to build the alliance and how to manage to, to keep playing so first of all there is option to help like there is alliance credit there is called one thing the alliance credit which which is very valuable things in this game like you have to help each other like this is the help alliance help you can see the how many persons helped you or you can ask help here and this is the help your allies to build upgrade building research technologies and healing troops and after research this will increase the power of helping and there is storehouse where you can see that the alliance credit this is the alliance credit we have 2.5 million we uh, this alliance credit comes from the helping and the mainly helping and this alliance food alliance wood alliance stone and alliance gold are coming from obviously the help and as well as the stone deposit wood deposit food deposit you just have to capture those deposits putting flag or putting the center for trace so see here all the things are described in this section gathering from normal source point on alliance territory will earn resource for the alliance 
second alliance resource points in alliance territory will continuously produce resource for the alliance alliance help alliance technology donations alliance building construction can grant a significant amount of alliance credit so first thing first i'm going to talk about the alliance today so here is the alliance only here you can change the settings only alliance leader can change the settings so and here is the alliance list and you see the first thing the ptx lemon duck and here is the pt2 all of the our alliance and ptx is the king of the of this kingdom the castilia and this is the ranking portion where you can see the individual powers of your alliance i'm at level four i ranked fourth this is the killing like uh, you have to kill like just daily quest you there is point of daily quest where you can gather 100 gems each day i suggest you to do every day whatever you do you just have to do uh, that quest i will show you later and this is the killing machine means you if you attack someone or if you attack someone base you there will some death of your troops this counts here and this is the best contribution I mean in your allies people are helping donating resource to the do the alliance research there is uh, always remember there is two kind of research here is doing first your own research where you can increase or you can unlock the super unit and next thing is the alliance research helping other and this is the rank for it and resource assistant means if some of your members are running out of your resources and you have lots of resources you can send him but you have to pay tax a certain amount of tax for it and you can reduce the tax uh, amount by upgrading the hall and this is the alliance hip and Kochi, he's our friend, came from another another alliance in our kingdom. I'm not going to mention which because we are playing for safety and they can destroy us. So lots of five we have been through and we just reduced our power because of that. We had lots of fight these days. Our alliance territory has been destroyed three times and right now we are running this portion. And there is, there you can see, there is the items like resource items and this is the chest. I am going to open one chest like you will get food, it could be wood, anything. And this is the speed of this is the speed up for you can there is uh, three types of speed up one is construction speed up one is healing speed up one is technology speed up and one is troop rush speed up troops training speed up so these four are very, very important and there is one overall speed up which is you can use it for any cause at any like if you want to speed up your building speed or building reduce the research type you can do it if you want to uh, heal your troops you can use this kind of speed up also and this is the most important thing you have to use in your daily life this is the boost you this is the gathering boost for eight hours this is the gathering boost for 24 uh, hours and of course this is the enhanced attack for 12 hours and i have won 24 hour also and this is the defense for 24 uh, sorry 12 hours and this is the basic army expansions for four hours 
and advanced anime expansion and these are the food boost if you use it your production of food will increase like that the wood boost and this is the stone boost and i just have two gold boost uh, so this is the boost thing and the last thing is totally different here you have to always gather three things like this is the targeted teleport which is very very important thing like if you want to fight someone then you have to, and uh, as the alliance territory is huge uh, huge you can expand it uh, like uh, 100 kilometer away from your territory so if someone some enemy comes to your territory at the very end of your territory you have to go and your march speed you have march speed but if you send troops from your main location it will take like one or two hours to get there then by and by then your enemy do all the demolish thing you he can destroy your flag so to teleport your base near the fighting point or the war zone you can use the targeted teleport and this teleport is used where you don't have the territory you can just go fight and come back with the the alliance territory this is the territorial teleport which you can use if you have the territory and you can move your base with the help of this territorial teleport and this is the random like if you have low power this teleport is used by some low uh, low power player and also some high powers if they get lonely and five or six members just attack him continuously he can use the random teleport and just boom just gone from the location obviously you have to remember you can only use those teleports when and only when your all the troops dispatches are on your base you just don't you just don't have any troop dispatches all of your gathering uh, just ended and obviously you are not in war frenzy mode i'm using all the boost and now i'm going to talk about the territory so if someone asked for the help i'm going to help him and this is the holy site we have captured obviously this is time taking you have to round up the whole thing uh, with your flag here you can see this is the flag our flag and we have just rounded it and then we just took over and this will be on uh, the protection will protection period will open after 21 days 17 hour yeah so here's the thing guys if i i think i made one mistake this is this is not after 21 days this is after 21 days and 17 minutes so at that point uh, this sanctum will open and enemy can easily attack this base this sanctum to capture then we just have to put the reinforcement and we can send our troops here and just like that we can have the we can defend the sanctum our holy site and these are the stone deposit like this is the old deposit we will take it and this is the stone deposit we are going to take it uh, actually this we have and here we are putting flag destroying others as you can see this is the center four if you just you can expand it uh, this is just beautiful you can reinforce it and you don't need to reinforce your center fort 
because people don't attack center fort at first people just have to destroy flag and remember if your flag is on the border of another alliance flag only then you can destroy it now let's talk about the alliance again how to so here it is let me send some troops here so that So my troops are coming. See, this is 30 km away. So and my troops will take six minutes and fifty-two seconds. And here we are at war with this ZT alliance. They just have huge amount of troops here and we have troops here also like we have 2 lakhs and 71,119 troops here and yes I got in one mail scouted to so see they have 6 yeah 6 lakh and 85,000 troops there and let's talk about the alliance again so here you can see the power and territory alliance gift and from here you can send mail all of to all of the members and this is the help portion i have also talked and after killing some junior luther or level 4 one there is certain level of barbarian fort like 1 2 3 up to 20 you can obviously make rally and kill them and this will give commander experience some epic cards some resource supply box and some and and one thing this is the thing you can get from here sorry you can see this thing this is the book of covenant I just forgot the name and this will you are going to need it to update the castle where you can rally army capacity increase the rally army capacity here and i was telling you guys about the giving tax uh, sorry giving uh, resource to other member and here it is this is the trading post you can see uh, the tracker if i increase the level of the trading post it will reduce the tax rate by one percent and for that and here it is just you just you you can tap here uh, well, let me yeah assist oh so all of my troops are dispatched so i cannot send him i will show that later and this is the shop where you can purchase lots of item i suggest not to take from here but if you have lots of gems you can obviously get it i will suggest from the courier stations which will arrive daily after a period of time i also you uh, I purchased something from here you can see it and you can refresh one time free and after that you have to spend a hundred yeah hundred gems to refresh it if you have sufficient you obviously you can no one will say anything to you so let's talk about the alliance technology research 
so this is the development this is the development for greater alliance where this will increase the upper limit of alliance member so you just have to do and donate just like that and when this will fill up up to this you can start research on it right now we are doing research on this because we need speed time of the alliance cell increase and this after one research it will be unlocked increase the alliance member building speed in the city and after all of this maxed out you can start this kind of research and the next is territorial research where you can increase the structure expansion increase the capacity of alliance storehouse which is needed mostly because it will fill up um, time and next is the architect one reduce the resource cost of alliance buildings and this is good the rapid march this will increase the march time within the alliance territory and like that there are lots of research you have to do and all of your alliance member have to give some resource from them here yeah? and this is the last one this is the war you must have it this is the amount of and you can you just can actually see so after and one more thing the thing is displayed here that e plus w which is our alliance just destroyed lzy alliance flag at the location we are just wiping out them You, and you can obviously move this from here to here obviously you can and after unlocking every single city hall level there is building sorry this is not yeah so this is it this is the economic like farm lumber mill quarry this is the stone where you can produce stone this is the gold mine this is the academy this is the storehouse and this is the alliance center which is very important thing to start rally against anyone against enemy against alliance flag or against anything barbarian food destruction builder hearts shop <coughs> trading post and courier station and the military is tavern, scout camp, barracks, archery range, and stable, siege workshop, and hospital, monument, and castle. And the last thing is bulletin board, nothing of use. And some decorator. I have, I have not built any of it. So the thing is, make sure that you get very good alliance so that you can join and some alliance just made some certain rule that you cannot join if you don't have power then you just have to be your own for some days you will this will make you feel lonely but if you get a stronger alliance by your side i know and the beginning of the game you will get many travels you will get lots of dangers like enemy will plunder your resources they will attack your base they will attack your gathering points but don't worry <clears throat> it's the game they can obviously attack anyone so someone just yeah we just have to destroy let me attack them let me show you how to attack So my troops are getting
let me see if there are no so all of my troops are far away from there so it's okay so the thing is and the next thing is here is the quest you have to do the daily quest and after achieving 100 points you can get 100 gems a golden key magic box and epic commander sculpture i will talk about the commander later a day not today just i'm um, just wanna talk about only the alliance so this is the orbit we are going to capture it after 21 hours and during the protection period you cannot scout start rally or attack anything so and obviously you can attack them if you want to and you will get this food production 5% this is the action recovery points if you destroy this sanctum guardian you will get this rune of harvest level 1 2 3 4 there are but this is the orbit you will get it only one level one and you can see that there is my profile more info you can see my all the kill, kills my power my building power my technological power my troops power commander power and the ranking i have told you about and the troops the total number of unit you can see here I have two lakhs and sixty-three thousand and two hundred sixteen troops. March Q four out of four. Hospital capacity sixty-eight thousand troops power. In the city only I have this, and in the wild means I am gathering some thing. I am just building some flags. So this is it, and this is the action recovery point. It will cost. it will recover automatically and you are going to need if you attack some barbarian force or start rallying or do any attack it will reduce and the most important thing i think in the game is the vip points each day here you will get 200 points but obviously you can use your gems to purchase vip i will suggest you guys as fast you can go to level 8 you will get lots of benefits from it because food production at zero vip wood production plus three percent and after at one vip one you will your stone production will increase up to 3% gold 3 gathering speed 3 and here it is at vip level 2 your action point recovery will increase 5% and if you go up to 7 current where i am at 7 you can see that hospital capacity increased 10% and training speed 10% and i am trying to reach up to eight as fast as i can so that my recovery action recovery boosted up up to 15 percent and research speed by 10 percent and there is vip point up to 15 yeah and all thing will increase hugely i'll get it soon someone just so here it is they are just so let me help them again i am going to send the, my troops so you can build your territory after you have built your center fort and this center fort is just like not free you just have to have some alliance credit obviously and after that you have to put one flag just beside of the 
uh, center fort border and just like that we have put lots of sent flag here here also you can just let me show you guys I can build one another center fort but we don't have credit and you don't need a second center fort until you get lots of far away from your main territory and this is the alliance flag we can build 30 of it and just like that you have to choose a clear point and just touching the border of your territory you can build another and just like that you cannot because this is this is touching another point like if you just want to try here you cannot also you just have to need a totally free region let me show you one thing that you cannot build alliance flag anywhere you have to make sure your alliance border are here let me show you guys you cannot I have set it governor out it you cannot overlap so to close other alliance building so that's it here about the alliance flag but obviously you can build the territory oh sorry not the flag again the fortress center fortress here you can build but unless we don't have alliance resource so the main thing you can do that you just apply some good alliance we have been destroyed we have been wiped out three times and still we could manage to develop our power here we just have to come here and take others and do some policy with other allies which are powerful than us this was our previous territory guys you can see we just took down our center foot from here we have been wiped out because they were not giving us any chances to increase our power some members are still here because they don't have the teleport they will come or I have and this if you are just killed us and before that this was our territory and we have been wiped out from here also because of them and right now we have power not to fight against them soon we'll have but still we can let me show you their power this is awesome they have lots of power we cannot just wipe them out and they have 116 territory and again let me back to my territory so here it is our and in the territory section you can claim the resource earning from the resource points you you can see here 6000 per hour food production from alliance territorial deposits we have lots of it and soon we'll take control all of the region we have to destroy the 808 they were ruling here actually we just destroy it destroy them so here it is and this is really time taking without your good friend you cannot just run a alliance 
you just have to make sure that you have good friends and you have some good policy with other people who can help you guys and let me some let me train so this is it for today guys i will make video about the commander letter and the research of your own and lots of thing when we will capture something out and we will fight against our enemy till then goodbye and hope you like my video i know i didn't just covered too much of it because there is lots of thing i have to tell you guys and it will take time and i'm pretty sure i'll make video about it soon so till now goodbye and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like my video and if you enjoy just subscribe share and comment on the comment section and goodbye for today